Hey everyone! About a month ago, the Pokémon fandom was taken by storm with the introduction to the new Generation 9 starters Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxly. Immediately, every artist on the planet started designing final evolutions for these three, and for this video, I decided I want to throw my hat into the ring. I've never really designed Pokémon before, but I've drawn existing Pokémon a lot, and I've always wanted to give it a try. I love watching Pokémon design process videos on YouTube, so I hope this video brings similar fans some kind of entertainment and excitement into what the Gen 9 Sirtos could possibly look like. Without further ado, let's get to designing. Starting with the Grass-type Sprigatito, I knew that I wanted to keep it quadrupedal. Not because I don't want it to be bipedal, I honestly don't really care. <laughs> Uh, I just think having another bipedal cat starter so soon after Incineroar and Alola wouldn't make sense. So keeping that in mind, one of the first ideas I had was that I wanted to create an actual saber-toothed saber-toothed tiger Pokemon. Once I had that idea, I began sketching. My first loose sketches really focused on getting the big cat shape. I don't really draw animals, so this is a learning experience in both animal anatomy and Pokemon design for me. Looking at images of lions, saber-toothed tiger skeletons, as well as reference images of the Iberian lynx, which the final design resembles more closely, I started sketching out different poses and played around with different shape combinations that I thought would benefit the design and landed on mostly using triangles as accents throughout it. Sprigatito gives off a really sweet and playful nature, so I wanted to make sure that those personality traits were still present in the final evolution's design as well. I kept Sprigatito's color palette, adding in hints of grey and silver to emphasize its steel typing that it'll gain. My main goal in the final design was to make a saber-toothed tiger slash lynx-inspired design that balanced the playful nature of Sprigatito while also looking intimidating, confident, and strong. Meet Florilens, the saber-toothed Pokemon. Florilens is a grass-steel-type Pokemon in the final evolution of Sprigatito. Florilens' teeth are made of solid metal and can cut through even the toughest car bank. Florilins grow razor-sharp flowers on its mane and tail that they fling at opponents like throwing stars. Florilins are very protective of their trainers and can come off very intimidating. Once you gain the trust of a Florilins, they'll protect you for the rest of their lives. Next up is my personal favorite of the new Generation 9 starters, Foycoco. I love this character design so much, I think it perfectly balances looking silly while still looking like a friend, which are two staples of Pokemon design that are my favorite. Waikoko feels fresh and new while still remaining in the Pokemon world, and I really hope its final evolution lives up to the unrealistic expectations I have for it. Keeping those ideas in mind, I knew that I wanted its final evolution silly while still looking strong. I also wanted to keep the Chinese Zodiac theory in mind for the final design as well. I've seen a lot of people online say that Foycoco breaks the tradition of each fire starter being represented in the Chinese Zodiac, but when I first saw Foycoco, I thought that it could be the snake representation that so many have asked for in the past. 
My thought is, if the Cyndaquil line can be a rat, then I think Foycoco's reptilian influences can easily be thought of as a snake. As you'll see, I originally opted for a leaner and more serpentine design that ultimately felt too disconnected from everything that I love about Foycoco's original design. I went through a lot of different base sketches that explored different snake poses, and along the way I found the concept that I wanted to give the final design, sparklers. Something about Fuecoco's jovial nature made me think of something bright and fun, and what's more fun than a firework? It's an idea for a Pokémon that I'm surprised hasn't been utilized yet, unless I'm completely forgetting one. But the idea of a fire-breathing serpent that creates firework explosions is so tempting to create, so I went with it. Meet Sparkulurk, the celebration Pokemon. Sparkulurk is the final evolution of Fue Coco. A mischievous Pokemon, legends say Sparkulurk fly unseen through the night sky, only noticed when blasting magical explosions of fire and magic during times of celebration. Seeing Sparkulurk's explosion is said to bring good luck. Sparkulurk are fun-loving Pokemon and love to put smiles on the faces of other Pokemon and Pokemon trainers alike. They are exceptionally good with children. The final design for this video will be the final evolution for Quaxly. Compared to Sprigatito and Fuecoco, Quaxly's design came to me pretty quickly, and I immediately came up with a rough sketch for what I wanted its final evolution to look like. After seeing Quaxly for the first time, I knew I wanted to make a Three Musketeers slash Fencer inspired Pokemon design for its final evolution. Something about Quaxly's body position and hair feathers felt like it could be turned into a poised regal looking fighter. I've always wanted to see a fencing Pokémon, and then the idea to give it a conch shell foil came to me, and the final design kind of created itself. Having Quaxley's final evolution hold a foil also adds to the lore that every water type starter is based on some sort of weapon, so it fit perfectly. I've seen a lot of people online think that Quaxley could become a water and flying type, but I don't see that happening as we already have Swana, which is a duck centered water flying evolutionary line.
Meet Dukonk, the soaring Pokemon. Dukonk is the final evolution of Quaxley. Using its conch shell as its main form of attack, Dukonk soars through the battlefield, landing swift blows upon all of its foes. Dukonk frequently compare themselves to other fighting type Pokemon, and will scoff at those it deems weaker. Dukonk are confident, poised, energetic fighters that are always ready to prove themselves on the battlefield. So that's it. Here are my final evolution ideas for Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. Let me know which is your favorite and who you would choose to be on your team if these were the final evolutions. Personally, it is hard for me to pick. Because I designed them all, I want all of them. But if I have to pick one, I think I'd go with Dukonk. Also, please let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I've had an idea for a Pokemon region for years, and it may be fun to finally bring it to life with these three as the first editions. Hopefully you guys don't find my voice as grating as I do as I edit this, but thank you so much for watching. Please check out my social media links below, and have a great day.